Hi guys, it's Ronnie um, coming to you this evening, uh, October 19th, and it's after 9. I come home and I get cozy, and I'm used to doing that. So you see me with my cozy, this is the warmest robe, um, and Jerry calls it my cougar robe, but whatever. You know, it's comfortable and I love it, but you see me... Uh, going to work now this is usually how I wind down um, usually with a glass of wine but I don't have you know that's not in protocol and I'm not going to even attempt that because I know it's just going to destroy all my progress um, I did post another video on my other website if that's how you found me this way I'm doing this because I'm really testing out this new website which I don't know why it's so difficult for me to you know create a website uh, a YouTube channel, not even a website. But I did it earlier and I thought I was sending my video there and it was not going there. So, here we go again. I'm home and I can really um, just spend some time with it. I got home late tonight because I had a uh, late night at work and I did not bring my, my dinner with me. I thought I would be home by 6.30. Um, I didn't get home until after 8, so I was starving. I had to stop at Whole Foods and pick up some things for the uh, chocolate delight that I want to make this weekend. Um, so, I also picked up some pretzels that I saw HCG Girl recommend instead of the Melba Toast. Okay. I'm saying all of this to say, and I said that I, I didn't have um, my food with me. So, when I left Whole Foods, I was starving. I hadn't eaten since 11.30, and then it was like a cup of lettuce and, you know, the chicken. So I, I was hungry, you know. I tested my, um, my drops today, and the pregnancy test came back negative so I don't know if this is like I don't know what it is obviously something is working if anybody knows like how that works like why is my pregnancy test coming back negative but I'm still losing the weight but I'm still very hungry like does that mean I'm not taking HCG um, I do have the homeopathic version of it and uh, the woman I brought it from I do have to um, you know, email her my weight, I email or text her my weight every day, and she usually gets back to me, so when I tested it, and it was negative, I did ask her about it, and she never responded, so I don't know, I don't want to get discouraged, I don't want to use that as an excuse to eat, but, and I'm not, I'm going to stick with this, I paid a lot of money, which I think is a lot of money for it, so I'm going to, you know, see it through, um, so anyway, back to the Whole Foods. So I'm driving out and I have this like hunger headache. So I opened a bag of gluten free pretzels. And it says 140 per serving calories. Twenty four crackers in a serving. Now mind you, I already have both my servings of milk butters today. So that is supposed to be used instead of. Well, I ate 12 crackers, which is 70 calories, and not on protocol. So I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. I know right now I'm really tired, um, but I wanted to show you something. Um, I just want to show you what I brought and what I plan on using tomorrow to make the chocolate delight. This is Ghirardelli. Can you see that? unsweetened cocoa okay I saw somebody recommend this and I got this from Whole Foods also they recommended oh, oh my god what is her name again I'm out of here oh I think I did wonderful she's like so organized she's what I want to be one day um 
HG, HCG meant to be. HCG M N T the number two B. I'm pretty sure it was her. I have a couple names written down, but I'm pretty uh, I'm pretty sure it was her. Anyway, she put um, that she puts carob powder in hers as well. I don't know if everybody uses this and what the effects are. You know, this doesn't say unsweetened. I don't know. It, there was not another one, so I'm hoping this is it. I need to check her blog again and see. Um, you know, this is the right one. I also have coconut oil, but I don't need to show you that. Um, and I don't remember what else is in it. I really just remember those ingredients in coconut oil. And um, I think it was vanilla, which I have. So I have to check it. I'm going to make it. And I brought these cute little lips. Aren't they adorable? I'm like into lips and lipstick and, you know, girly stuff. But I got this from Marshall's today. And, it, you know, it only holds eight. I'm going to make eight little um, kisses, the little kisses. So with the rest of the mixture, I figure this is, uh, you know, the season for pumpkins. So this is what was at a dollar store. Little pumpkin ice cube trays. And they're like flexible. So I got two of them. If you're interested, they're in the dollar store now. Dollar Tree. So go check them out. Um, in addition, I just wanted to share with uh, everyone, which I'm sure everybody knows already, but for those girls who don't, um, just some things that I use to season my food with, and I've been very happy, very satisfied with the flavors, um, and I'm a foodie, so, you know, I will let you know when something is not good. This is actually very tasty. Uh, it's the glare, the glare is the light. Liquid and liquid aminos. This is brag. You see how much is gone already? This is one week. I use it every day. Um, and I just got this because I read that this is supposed to be good too. What am I doing? <laughs> Organic sprinkle. Twenty-four herbs and spices seasoning. And I, I use this in the liquid aminos to season my shrimp today. Um, I also had some frozen kale that I figured I needed something quick because like I, uh, I got home after eight and um, I needed to, to do something quick. That was horrible. I got it from Whole Foods too and it was just not good. I put some vegetable um, broth in it, simmered it for a little bit and it was just whatever. You know, I wasn't even really that hungry since I ate the 12 pretzels. <laughs> Unbelievable. I can't believe I did that. But anyway. So I'm going to do that tomorrow. Um, in case you didn't see my other vlog today, I was down 2 pounds. Um, down 3 yesterday. For a total for from Monday through Thursday, that was like 9.5. And I did the, I did the math. 9.5 pounds and my goal is 10 and I already know unless something weird happens overnight I know that I'm going to be down because I was all right I started on I was 220 starting on Monday okay two days ago all right let's do this last night when I weigh myself, because I weigh myself at night too, and I know I don't use that weight, but I know that um, I can pretty much tell by the night weight, like around how much I'm going to weigh in the morning. That's what I was saying, unless something really weird happens. But um, so two nights ago, I was 2.15, or last night. What is wrong with me? I'm so like fuzzy. I think last night I was 2.15 and this morning, no, 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 that was two nights ago. I was 2.15, and that morning, 
I was um, 212. Okay, so I was like three pounds that I lost. And last night, I was like 212 point something. And this morning, I was 210 point something. So, when I went and took all my clothes off so I could put my pajamas and my robe on, I was 211. Well, this morning, I was 210. So, I'm 211. If everything goes as planned, I should be at least 10, point, 10 pounds down tomorrow. I'm expecting to lose at least another pound tomorrow. Um, if my theory goes out the window, I will let you know. But I'm late now. I should be taking my HCG. Um, and that's about it. Alright, I hope everybody had a great day. And I hope you will be seeing less of me. Alright, night people.